Meta Fuller was an African-American artist with many talents. However, she was known best for her work as a great sculptor. After coming back from Paris, from learning under her mentor, Meta created some great sculptures. One sculpture that catches many people's eyes is the story of Mary Turn. Mary was brutally murdered after speaking about her husband's lynching. Meta wants to showcase her story in a sculpture she created by Mary's incident. Let's take a look, closer look at this sculpture. Looking closely at this sculpture, you can see the hands of people trying to grab Mary. In the second screenshot, you can see Mary holding her child. Meta does a great job of showing Mary in a heroic way, defending her child even in the last dying moments. This is a great job by Meta, and she did a great job of replicating this type of work in all her sculptors. Hello, I hope you guys can see, um, well, because I can't really tell, I'm using my iPhone to record. Um, you guys were also probably expecting my wife to um, critique the sculpture here, but unfortunately, she was unable to do that. She was shy. Um, so, I picked this sculpture by Meta. It was called Talking Skull. If you look closely here, it looks like a young boy talking, facing down, talking to a skull. Um, the story behind this is, is, I think, an African folk tale where the boy talks to the skull and then he takes the skull, the talking skull to his village and shows his chief um, and says, hey, look, there's a talking skull. Look, I found a talking skull. Um, unfortunately, when he brought the skull over to the village and the chief, the skull didn't talk. So the moral of the story, I think, is um, don't talk too much from what I understood. But I have my own interpretation of the sculpture here. So it does look look like the young boy is talking to the skull. I think the skull represents um, the African ancestor. Um, the boy is trying to communicate with them, but it's been so long and things has happened over time where they completely lost the link. Um, and this link in this case is Africa. Um, the boy is trying to speak to his ancestors, but they no longer have that link. And you can pretty much say they have no type of connection. Um, that's why they use this, that's why Meta uses this skull. And it's nice that I can look at that and get that story um, out of this sculpture. You may see something else. Um, I, I love the fact that, you know, when I look at this, the boy does look sad, disappointed. And it almost seems like the skull is talking back by the position of the head. Um, and in another case, it also looks like the boy might be praying. Um, um, there are people that do you know, bow down and pray in this way. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, that's my opinion. I, I, I feel sad, you know, when I'm looking at this sculpture here, I, I wish there was some type of connection that the African American people could have with the African ancestors, but unfortunately, slavery um, caused that disconnect and they will never be able to experience what I feel when I go back home. And um, it's a great feeling to be home, you know, to be among your people. And unfortunately, these people here will never be able to feel 
that feeling. Well, thank you. Um, that is my critique. Uh, hopefully, uh, this counts as some credit, even though we were supposed to bring someone else to critique it. Hope you guys enjoy. I had a great semester, and good night. Let's enjoy one of my favorite sculptures by Meta. The wrapping and the posture of this sculpture really defines who the African American people are. Strong and with a vibrant history. Meta does a great job of capturing this well. After reading and doing this project and learning more about Meta, and let's say if you were to ask me who I thought Meta was, I would tell you she was a storyteller and a damn good one.